Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you, Mr. Announcer, for that lovely intro. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode 313 of the show, January 21st, 2023. Next week is the Royal Rumble. That's right. Both men, both women, they're going to go at it. Um, 30 men, 30 women. Who knows? What's, uh, and a lot of people, most of the half the, um, the half the field on the men's side have declared entry into the Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. This coming Monday night on Raw is the 30th anniversary. Raw is 30. And, and use the Roman rules, triple X, X, X. And, and a lot of jokes are coming out of that. Coming out of that one. But whatever. Uh, me and my friend Jody Scow. Um, I plan on re um, live reacting with him on Monday Night Raw. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be having a great time. Um, so it's 3.50 p.m. We're going to have a lot of fun today, and, we'll, and we're going to talk a little bit about what happened last night on SmackDown. Now, I was unable to watch NXT level up on Peacock because now uh, I don't know why Peacock just delayed. I don't know, I don't know what it is, delayed at the, uh, you know, you know. Delayed the, um, you know, the thing, and they didn't, they didn't uh, post it, but I ended up getting it on, uh, ended up watching it level up on another site, and they finally got it, maybe to the point where I want to say screw Peacock. Well, anyways, but I like watching the, um, the premium versions of the show. Uh, check this out, uh, the, uh, what happened, uh, SmackDown took place in Detroit, Michigan, um, for the contract signing, the bloodline pulls up the arena. You know, Sammy Zangries to Usos and all that. So also Cole walks by. But he tries to fist bump Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, like, mm -mm. you know, Roman Reigns kind of looked at him and walked away. I'm like, uh-oh, this is not good. So. And then, anyways, there was a number one, as an 18 number one contenders uh, tag team contenders tournament for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The first round, um, the Banger Brothers, as a lot of people call them, or, you know, or the original Brawling Brutes, in my opinion. Uh, Bruno McIntyre and Sheamus went up against the Viking Raiders. Sheamus and McIntyre did win the matchup. And then Raquel Rodriguez has declared entry into the Royal Rumble, which is in her home state of Texas this year, in San Antonio. It's going to be very interesting. And then Re uh, and then Reigns was talking to Sami Zayn about what happened and everything else, and he gets upset with Sami Zayn and tells Sami Zayn to leave. L.A. Knight uh, took on somebody, Jones, and, you know, you know took on, I just put Jones because I heard the name Jones. Um, then he cut a promo on Bray Wyatt, and then Bray Wyatt, the Family Five Funhouse, came out, uh, came back to mess with, with LA Knight, playing a little bit of mind games with the brash, the brash loudmouth. So we'll see what happens here. So, so there's another um, first round matchup. Um, the winner of this first round matchup uh, will take on the win winning team of the left side of the bracket. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus beat the Viking Raiders. It's Los Latarios, Angel Garza, and Roberto Carrillo to go up against Hit Hit Row, who have been having a new attitude as of late ever since, you know, uh, um, Top Dollar lost to Ricochet. And Hit Row did win the matchup, so there's, there's going to be another fight between Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Hit Row. It's going to be a very interesting um, bout, to say the least. So, so there's that. Braun Strowman decided to cut a promo in the Royal Rumble, declaring entry into it as well. So, Braun Strowman says, anybody gets in my way, going to get these hands. That old catchphrase is back. Get these hands. That's right. And I'll tell you one thing, you know, Omos is in there. I want to see Omos and Strowman go at it again. That will be a, um, an awesome deal. And then, Charlotte Flair comes out to address the crowd and decides to call out Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville responds to Flair. And then, and then Adam Pierce goes, seriously, Sonya, we're going to do this again? You know, I told, I told you. And then Sonya decided to punch Charlotte out while Adam Pierce was talking. And Adam Pierce was like, really? Seriously? What's going on? And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. 
And it's not, the bill goes, on my time, on my time. I'm like, oh boy. So, and so, Paul Heyman decided to talk to Roman Reigns and, and try, I think tried to reason with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns goes, you know what? You know, so, Paul Heyman told Roman Reigns, let, you know, let him in, and, you know, keep him in there. Like, he's inside the castle and then outside the castle. And so, that got Roman Reigns thinking about Sami Zayn's situation. Lacey Evans has got, um, it was in training to do the Operation Cobra Clutch. It looks like she's adopt, she is adopting Sergeant Slaughter's submission hold, the Cobra Clutch, that would, that would, that would be, um, that would make her more dangerous in the women's division than ever before. You know, Lacey Evans is beautiful, but don't let the beauty fool you. And she is a trained Marine, and my and mind you, she is dangerous. But now with that, now with that Cobra Clutch hold, I think she's gonna be even more dangerous. I think there, I think Lacey Evans has decided to stop with the sassy Southern Belle gimmick and go and go back to her roots. And that's what you, and she's doing. I wouldn't, you know. And I think she's gonna be very, very brutal in the women's division, even if I were Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler watching backs. Good. Who knows for sure. And then we're going to go to the right hand side of the bracket of the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Title Number One Contenders Tournament, as the Brawling Brutes, that would be uh, Ridge Holland and Butch, took on the uh, Imperium, uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, and Imperium did win, preventing an all Brawling Brutes final between Drew McIntyre, Sheamus versus uh, Butch and Ridge Holland. So. And then Paul Heyman goes up to Sami Zayn and said that Reigns would like to see, Roman Reigns would like to see him. You know. And then Shayna Baszler cut a promo. She's declaring entry into the Royal Rumble. She holds her own in the Royal Rumble. Gotta respect that. We'll see what happens there. And then Karrion Cross and Scarlett not only call a promo on Rey Mysterio, because it um, in fact the two of them will go at it next week on SmackDown, but also Karrion Cross has declared entry into the Royal Rumble as well. So it seems to me that that um it um it seems to me that the Royal Rumble is going to be very interesting with very a lot of danger, dangerous guys. I would not be surprised if Solo Sokoa decides to declare entry into the Royal Rumble. That would be, and obviously Sokoa and Braun Strowman go at it. Come on, get those, get those two to hold up. Then the final first round matchup into the uh, uh, SmackDown number one contenders uh, tag team uh, uh, number one contenders tournament. With the tag, SmackDown Tag Team Titles, uh, Legado Del Fantasma, that's Joaquin Wild and Cruz Del Toro, go up against Maximum Male Models, Marce and Mansoir, a.k.a. M Mason Mansoir. And then while Selena Vega was doing color commentary, um, not only Santos Escobar has declared entry into the Royal Rumble, Selena Vega has declared entry into the Women's Royal Rumble as well. And then, and Legado Del Fantasma won the matchup, so... Next week, uh, the semifinal rounds go Drew McIntyre and Sheamus versus Hit Row. That will be interesting. D and these two tag team matches are going to be interesting with contrast and styles. You know, contrast and style. you got the street fighting styles of Hit Row versus the brawling style, the European brawling style of Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. On the other side of the bracket, you got the European wrestling style of Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, while you get the lucha style of Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro. That will be a very interesting uh, scenario. Makes the, um, some, the Usos better be uh, thinking about watching those two matches for next week. When Maurice talks to Sami Zayn and says, listen to me and all that. Just get you know get the jet, get everything going, get the Usos. We're done with the contract. We're out of here. And then the contract signing was happening. Roman Reigns was getting ready to uh, you know relax and sign the contract. And here comes, and then KO was about to come out, but he snuck attack he did a sneak attack on Solo Sokoa, took him out. And then when the Usos caught wind of this, they came around the flame down the ringside. And Kevin Owens takes them out. And then he goes after Roman Reigns, stuns him, and then did a pop-up powerbomb to a table. While while that was going on, Sami Zayn comes running out there at the last moment. And Kevin Owens got a smirk on his face. And he throws the contract at Sami Zayn, which is signed up. And so, and that's where it stands right now while the Usos and Solo Sokoa are checking on Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn was looking at. Sami Zayn was looking was looking straight at K 
Kevin Owens. Now on to the level up portion of the show. Like I said, you didn't get a chance to watch it last night because they, Peacock did not air from some from, from strange reason. I think Peacock some having server problems or something like that. I don't know. But it managed to get off a of site. Here's the deal. Um, Nikita Lyons, the lovely Nikita Lyons, which, whose t-shirt I'm probably going to get in pretty soon, goes up against Takara Jackson and her friend. And that These two ladies had a great matchup, but Nikita Lyons is... I'd like to see Nikita Lyons in this year's Royal Rumble. If not, next week. Uh, not next week. Next year in the Royal Rumble. I think she... Uh, if she enters it this year, I think she could she have a great potential to, um, you know, really, really test herself. And I think Nikita Lyons in the Women's Royal Rumble... Would be very interesting to see if that happens. Kelly Kincaid um, interviews Damon Kemp, who was acting arrogant as usual, and he says he's going to beat Tank Ledger, who is he facing? Who he's facing? And then they did go one on one, and Damon Kemp ended up winning the matchup. Now, Damon Kemp is the real life brother of Olympic gold medalist Gable Steveson. So, so there's that. Odyssey Jones um, and Joe Gacy went one on one in the main event. As Odyssey Jones, Malik Blade, and Idris Nofe kind of have a run in with Schism as of late. And in the end, Joe Gacy did end up winning the match. And that is it for episode 313 of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. That's all for today's show. On the next episode, we'll talk about what happened last night on AEW Rampage. A lot of stuff went down there as well. Remember, this coming Monday night on Raw, it will be the 30th anniversary show. A lot of legends are going to be there. I've heard The Undertaker is going to be there. They're going to have a bloodline uh, acknowledgement, uh, an acknowledgement ceremony where every uh, generation of the bloodline is going to be there. Um, there are a lot of rumors about The Rock not going to be there. Or he's, he's not in ring shape ready and all that. Mind games are going to be playing around here. And believe me, a lot of reports are coming out there. Who knows? And will it be... Um, will, um, will it be Hay? We'll go with uh, Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble and face Roman Reigns. Who knows? Or are they going to make the Bloodline story more interesting with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens? We'll find out for uh, we'll find out for sure when we get to Monday Night on Raw. It's going to be very interesting to see what actually goes down. And uh, and also the fine and also is the Go Home Raw before the Royal Rumble next Saturday. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen. The SmackDown will be also the go-home uh, Royal Rumble show. So, until the next episode of Eric Lee Shenanigans of 1977 Roll Around, Mr. Announcer, if you listen, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lee Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. In association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries telepictures and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.